are you worried about app crashes screens going black signal losses then stick around this video is for you so hello welcome once again uh, to the channel today we're going to do a couple of tests to put uh, some of the subscribers and viewers minds at rest uh, what happens when your app crashes what happens when you get a signal loss that kind of thing okay so so here we go then uh, test number one what happens if the app crashes just take him out start recording So we're going to leave it recording, okay? She's out at 62 meters. I'm going to force close the app. Okay. So you'll see on the screen, we're still recording. We've got no connectivity now uh, to the app at all. But what we have got is full control with the RC, okay? The controller. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back. You can probably hear it above us. Uh, let's see if we can get him in shot behind us. <clears throat> Don't panic. So, test number two, here we go. <clears throat> what happens if you lose signal? Total disconnect. Let's uh, find out, shall we? Okay. Just move him away. I'll take him up to twenty five meters. That's what happens uh, when you're recording your phone rings. He's just all up. Keep your phone on silent, guys, or airplay mode. <laughs> So, total disconnect. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is power down the controller. Oh, you can see that, the controller's now off. And it says on screen, well you'll see that on the screen recording, RC uh, not connected to mobile device. So in 10, 11 seconds time, that should come back to us. And here she comes. It's flying above us. And down she comes. Stand up for this bit. I just hand caught it just for the purpose of the video. <clears throat> So that's what happens when you completely disconnect 
your remote control. So nothing to worry about. If you get a signal loss, you've set your home uh, home point, and you've set your return to home, it's going to come back. So now you can see we've uh, <coughs> we've just reconnected back uh, with the RC. Don't panic. Sometimes when the aircraft comes back on a return to home, it may decide to hover about three or four foot off the ground. That's possibly because the terrain is uneven and the aircraft won't land. If you don't keep your hand flat and you approach the aircraft to catch land, this could happen. In this case, we have to do um, an emergency catch, as you can see in this next clip. So test number three, <clears throat> what would happen if your phone was to die? Uh, pretty impossible nowadays, now you've got the uh, charging of the phones whilst you're flying, but who knows, you might just uh, suddenly die for, for some obscure reason. So let's test that one out, shall we? So we'll, uh, we'll take off once again. What I'm going to do is start to uh, start recording again. I'm going to fly out to a similar similar distance. So. 50 meters away <clears throat> okay so what happens if your phone dies and the only way to do this is to actually power down the phone and that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to power down the iPad there we go I'll slide that off and that'll stop the screen recording as well so we've got complete disconnect from the screen uh, but we're still connected to the RC. Okay, so the phone's died, the iPad's died. There you can see we've got the LEDs, which means that we've got control over the drone. And incidentally, what's happening is, although I've quit, I've quit the uh, the iPad. It's actually starting up on its own again. And that's probably because this power lead is plugged in. Okay. So it's asking me for my password. So I've got no app open, and all I'm going to do is fly the drone back. And down she comes. We'll just uh, we'll just hand catch it again. There she is. <clears throat> so three different scenarios. If we just start the uh, <clears throat> the fly up back up once again, you'll see on screen that it's still actually recording. I'll move this around, I'll move the drone around. And you can actually see that we are still recording. So that was a total, a total loss of your phone or your iPad, and it's still carrying on uh, recording, even though we've landed. So three different scenarios. If your app crashes, you've still got to uh, control over your RC. If you get a total signal loss, I uh, turned the uh, the controller off, came back to me, returned to home. And then if uh, if you get a total wipe out of your phone, it dies, you've still got control over your RC. Three different scenarios. I just thought to put this little video together for you all, just to um, give you some uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some confidence. And if you get signal losses or you, you get a blackout on your screen, don't panic. 
that's the main thing to remember. It's very hard. I've done it myself when I first started flying years ago. Don't panic. There's always, always a solution. You've got your return to home, which you can also use if you've got uh, on, the, on the controller. You can use that if you can't actually fly it back. That's why it's imperative, in my opinion, is to keep, is to keep visual line of sight. It's, it's so important. If I was the other side of those trees where I was flew and I couldn't see the drone, how the hell, how can I, how can I see it to bring it back if I've blacked out, you know, got no screen? Most important visual line of sight. So I hope that's been of some use to you. And uh, it's put a lot of your minds at rest. It certainly did me. When I first uh, started flying, well, I looked into all this. So there we go. Hope that's uh, been enjoyable for you and informative. If you've liked it, give it the thumbs up. If not, give it the thumbs up twice. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.